Hello everybody, today I am back with 18 of the rarest items in Rec Room. I made another video like this a while ago and I'll link to it in the comments in case you missed it. And if you find this video entertaining, then be sure to use code Tara in Rec Room or hit that support button on my profile. It really does help out the channel a ton. Alright, let's get right into these rare items. Number 1. Golden Notes by Coach Once upon a time in 2019, there was a pair of Golden Notes by Coach headphones that were available for around an hour. One hour. You heard me right. They were 8,000 tokens, they sold out almost immediately, and since then, you're out of luck if you want the shimmery accessory. Maybe they'll come back one day. I think releasing something for one hour is a little unfair, especially since we know that they didn't really sell out. Rec Room can control how many of an item there is, I'm sure. The hype is real though, so if these do come back, I wouldn't be surprised if they were the talk of the entire community. Number 2. The Red Snowy Owl Set For the Christmas season in 2021, Rec Room created an event called Holiday Friend Fest. This was essentially a friend referral program where, if you referred new people to Rec Room, you would receive progressive of rewards. There was a winter dorm skin, some three, four, and five star boxes, and then sandwiched in between those was the super rare red snowy owl mask and cape. I've yet to see anyone wearing these in the game that's not Rec Room staff. I actually remember really wanting this set, but unfortunately, referring people is not so easy, and I missed out. So I've got my fingers crossed that Rec Room brings back this rare owl set for another season since one short event doesn't seem like enough, and they've already released so many recolors of the owl cape since then. Number three, the Rec Olympics shirt and medals. I recently did a quiz on my channel asking which Rec Room event was not real. 10% of you actually thought that Rec Olympics was fake. I can assure you, it was a real thing. In late summer of 2021, this one-time event consisted of many different regions and a ton of players coming together to compete across a number of categories, including paintball, dodgeball, and more. I can only imagine the headache that Rec Room had to go through to organize all this. Perhaps that's why we haven't seen any Rec Olympics since then. They even had opening ceremonies with torch carrying and the whole deal. In hindsight, maybe it was a bit over the top. Anyway, winners either got bronze, silver, or gold medals, and anyone who visited the event got a free shirt. It's always well worth popping into any Rec Room events I find since you tend to get these free items and they just end up being bragging rights the more time goes on and less and less people remember where they even originated from. Number 4. FNAF Hoodie I have friends that still talk about missing out on the FNAF Hoodie to this day. Back in the summer of 2020, there was one weekend only where you could visit the Rec Center and be gifted this hoodie for free. The design on it is really streamlined and I'm sure eventually someone will recreate this as a custom shirt design if they haven't already, but the fact remains, the original hoodie is pretty coveted and not many people own it. There's a huge fan base of FNAF and Rec Room, so I think it would be pretty smart if Rec Room let us have this one back, even as a paid item. Number 5. The Orange Maker Pen Skin So there was allegedly this really rare orange maker pen skin and I don't even know when it came out, or for how long. I could only find this lone post on Reddit and when I asked my Discord, someone said it might have been a Christmas event or a weekly skin a couple years ago. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Until then, this thing will remain a mystery to me. Number 6. Pink Flames Bowling T-Shirt Alright, this is a weird one. So suddenly at the end of summer 2021, Rec Room decided it was time for Flamingo Fever, whatever that means. They put out a Flamingo floaty and anyone that owned this floaty would unlock more gifts depending on how many were sold. The top tier was this pink flames bowling shirt which is merely a recolor of the regular bowling shirt. I'm not sure how many people actually ended up with this thing. Shout out to my friend Static from my discord for letting me know that this one existed. I honestly had no idea. Despite playing the game heavily during that time in 2021, I guess all that flamingo fever made me get amnesia. Number 7. Fashion Mobster So just like the orange maker pen, the best I can find in my extensive research, I mean not extensive research, I just googled it, found nothing and gave up. There was an elusive fashion mobster vest that came out sometime in the 2017-2018 range, possibly for a contest, according to this one reddit post. If you know where this thing came from, do tell. Otherwise, like Bigfoot, all we have is a couple grainy old photos that may or may not be real. The look of this vest kind of reminds me of the rare items from my next point, actually. Number 8. Seller Swag Rec Room has partnered creator items that are gold, as some of you may already know. If you cash out 100, 1000, 10,000, or 50,000 dollars, you unlock these items. But in addition, they offer seller swag. These are usually gold and black, they look really slick, and you have to cash out 1 to 20 million tokens to unlock them. There's currently a banker hat that costs 20 million cashed out tokens, and I guarantee it's so rare that you've probably never seen anyone walking around Rec Room with it. Number 9. Mystery Contest Items When it comes to build contests, or maker pen contests as some people call them, there's usually an exclusive avatar clothing set and a maker pen skin that only gets doled out to less than 20 teams. In late 2020, the build contest theme was mystery, and I gotta say, the outfit that was given to the winning teams is one of the coolest I've ever seen in the game. Have you ever seen anyone wearing this? I certainly haven't. It kind of reminds reminds me a bit of the invasion drip. Runner-ups in my book for best contest items have to be the carnival wings, the solstice outfit, and the most recent rhythm and rooms avatar items. Number 10. The Android Visor I know it feels like Rec Room has been on most platforms forever, but in reality, they just came to Android in mid-2021. Just as they did to celebrate the launch of Xbox, they released a special item to celebrate. In this case, it was a free Android Visor in neon green. I feel like I missed out on a lot of items somehow as I don't see the Android Visor in my inventory, and now I feel sad. Number 11. The Isle Amulet In October of 
of 2020, Rec Room tweeted that to celebrate the launch of Isle of Lost Skulls on the Oculus Quest 2, a special free gold necklace was available. I love this necklace and I've only ever seen one player in Rec Room wearing it. It caught my eye immediately and I definitely felt some FOMO as they explained where it came from. I started Rec Room in December of 2020 and I feel like I missed out on so many cool avatar items that year. Number 12, the Bob Ross shirt. Way back in 2018, Rec Room ran a creator contest that if you won, resulted in this epic Bob Ross t-shirt. I don't have much to say about this one except that it's a super cute concept, Bob Ross needs to make a comeback, and I'm certain that it's one of the rarest clothing items in the game. Number 13, Survey Bubbly. Now, this one isn't a clothing item, but if you're signed up for Rec Room's research lab, you occasionally get sent surveys about the game. This is usually just a quick five minute survey to ask about your preferences in game, what platform you play on, how you feel about certain items, etc. Most of the time when you complete these surveys, you get a free item in the form of a gift box in game. Typically, this is chocolates or another mundane consumable. However, there's been at least a couple occasions where the survey results in a fancy premium bubbly called a survey bubbly. I think these are pretty cool and I only have a couple of them, so I'm saving my rare bubblies for a special occasion. Number 14, the Steam Early Access t-shirt. If you were a Rec Room player for the first five years of the game, you might own this shirt. I personally do have this one. This isn't as exclusive as some items on the list because it was available, I believe, for most of September of 2021 if you just headed over to the Rec Center. However, that was 2021 and it's now 2023, so there's a couple years worth of players who have probably never seen this item in the game. Number 15, New Year's Sash. In 2020 and 2021, Rec Room released a very limited New Year's Sash for free if you visited the Rec Center. I was not here for New Year's in 2020, but I remember the 2021 one was only around for about a day. You just spawned into the Rec Center and it was a five-star box waiting. Guess they can call anything a five-star box if they want. This sash seems like a four-star at best, but all right, I'll allow it. Stay tuned for holiday events because this seems to be when they like giving away free stuff. It's usually the same with the Rec Holiday Market in December. Number 16, the April Fool's Bucket Skin. There was a bucket available this past April Fool's for a day on RecNet. I think it was through a bundle that you could purchase, and before anyone really realized that it existed, it was gone again. This is one that I really wanted, but I feel like Rec Room didn't really advertise it, and you just kind of had to know. I remember seeing a photo with Bo holding the bucket, and I was genuinely confused on how to obtain it. I asked around, but wasn't really getting a clear answer, so I ended up missing out. Dang that rare, elusive bucket skin. Number 17, Tutorial Gowns. Rec Room posted this on Reddit four years ago. It's an advertisement to help players make more tutorials in the game. The post says, if you create a Rec Room YouTube tutorial and it gets added to our community playlist, you'll be rewarded with an exclusive tutorial gown item. But why stop at just one? Create even more tutorials and you could earn the higher tiers of exclusive gowns. Due to the labor-intensive nature of this challenge, you can bet that those tutorial gowns are not too common. Number 18, Maker Pen Teacher Gowns. If you teach Rec Room Maker Pen classes, you are a rare breed already. I don't know too many players who even know how to successfully use the Maker Pen to build, let alone teach others on the subject. But if you are a teacher and you sink 10, 20, 30 hours into classes, you can unlock these fancy gowns here. I think I'll stick to the free gown that you get by visiting the graduation room. I simply don't have time to take a class or cram more knowledge into my brain. I want to put a little disclaimer here too because I know there'll be some people in the comments saying, no, 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 Tara, you've got it all wrong. These items aren't rare. And you know what? I make these videos for fun. So if it's not something you can currently buy in the store or something that just came out once, to me, I think that is rare. Everyone has their own opinions though on what constitutes a rare item in the game. If you missed the first video that I made on this, definitely go watch it here next and we will see you all next time.